Hey guys, even here, and we are starting this video with Keon Pearson update, who is looking absolutely freaky, four and a half weeks out of Chicago Pro, where he's undoubtedly gonna win this show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. So we're gonna see what he looks like soon on stage in four and a half weeks, but right now... In this gym video, hamstrings and stuff like that, but you can see a lot of vascularity on his shoulders and arms, and you can see that he has the 3D like crazy, I mean, it's all bubbly kind of muscle, I mean, it's just all around and popping, uh, look at this, I mean, look at his shoulders, how much it's separated, especially the right one how much it is separated from the arm, it's just standing there on its own, it's crazy, it's ridiculous, look at the shadow under it, god, so he's really, really good right now, I don't think I can see anybody else beating him at the Chicago Pro, maybe if he does open, maybe then he can lose from some people, but if he does the Toto Valve that he did last year, then sure, yeah, he can win that, and then qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and then probably crack the top 5 at the Mr. Olympia, I wouldn't be too surprised, sure, he needs still some maturity to gain over the years, he's very young in this game, but uh, as far as genetics... He's, he's the most, probably the most genetically gifted bodybuilder of the day right now, uh, aside from the height, so he doesn't have the height, but other than that, who has this kind of a classic physique with this much muscle, this kind of genetics, this shape, it's really rare, it's really rare, he's one of the best right now as far as that. Here you can see his legs as well, now this was taken a week ago, so they're definitely more shredded now, and also when he stops training them finally, and he cuts the water out, and he does all the protocols, it's gonna be much more better conditioning on stage, but you can also see the shape, like he has the genetics everywhere, <laughs> I mean the arms, the shoulders, the back, the legs, yeah, chest might be a little shallow, but he improved that too, I mean he is growing no matter what, like, he has those genetics as well, he can grow so much fast, so here you can see legs, looking great. Another photo that he took uh, two days ago, he's starting to get those Michael Lockett type of delts and arms, because he's getting so 3D, so bubbly, I mean, genetics all day long. But this, this most muscular, the most recent update, four and a half weeks out, just looks very impressive. And keep in mind that he's probably depleted at this point. So when he finishes the cut, when he loses a little bit more fat, and then he fills up, that's gonna be ridiculous. I can't wait to see that on stage. Last time I saw him guest posing, he looked, he looked absolutely phenomenal. I can't imagine what he's gonna look like shredded. It's gonna be amazing. Let's wait for it. Four and a half weeks out, he's gonna be amazing on that stage. So if he somehow, for some reason, unknown to me, decides to do Chicago Pro Open, he's gonna be facing this. Can he beat this? No, I don't think so. No, I mean, maybe Kian is more genetically gifted, but he's not on this level. <laughs> Take a look at these legs. Take a look at his tree trunks. Just insane. I mean, Hunter, he's progressing on a very, very fast rate, and he's keeping the balance. And also, he says right here in this, in this photo that he wants his legs to be as big as his waist. And he has been working on a more balanced physique in this past offseason, but he also gained a few pounds, 3 to 5 pounds, as he says. So he's gonna be more balanced and bigger, too. And he never really does this kind of absent eyes, as he says here. So he usually does that twist where he flexes his side abs. But now he tried this one out, and he probably liked it, and that's why he posted it. You can really see the size of his quads when he does this one, and also the symmetry in the quads, which is really exceptional. And you can see that his abs are, I mean, they're not great, but for a guy of his size, they're not bad. His weak point, though, was back. That was his weak point since ever. And now, is it gonna be? I don't know, because it does look pretty good right here. We're gonna have to see on stage what it looks like, how much did he improve it, but that was his main focus, improving the back, because he knew it was a weak point for him, so he worked on it very hard, he rode, he deadlifted, he did a lot of work, a lot of work, I think he did two workouts for back a week, which is not something he usually does, I think he did that, he's like the push-pull leg guy, and he also adds an active rest day, as he says, which is an arm day, uh, I think he did back twice, if I'm not mistaken, because he needs it to grow, and did it grow? We'll see on stage, really, but this photo right here does look pretty impressive. I think he gained a lot of thickness in the lower lats area. We'll see, it does look very good, it doesn't look like a weak back, for sure. Does it look like a weak back to you? <sighs> not to me. So I think he's gonna be good. Let's wait and see. Chicago Pro, I think he's winning it, yeah. Next up, Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, I made a video about him a few days ago, and I mentioned him quite often, but I have to, I mean, I have to do this again, because here you can see his arms and his biceps, which is something he was always known for. 
Now he's doing some lat pulldowns, and also he's talking about something, trying to advertise something probably. I'm sorry for not playing the video, the audio, actually, because I'm ranting here. <laughs> so you can see his physique, this is what is important in this video, you can see his arms. So he still is holding on to some biceps and triceps, and his stomach doesn't really look that bad from this angle. It does look pretty bloated, but in that previous video it, it looked worse. So Roddy Coleman, he is doing fine right now, and the biceps are looking pretty good. But really, forget about his biceps, he's retired. What I was more impressed with was the finishing of this video, and the entire video basically, how happy he looks. He didn't look this happy before. It seems like that stem cell treatment is working and he's getting better, healthier. You can see it in his face. He looks fresher and more happy. I'm glad for him, I'm really glad for him. William Bonek posts a bicep training video and also goes on a little rant, a motivating rant uh, in the description, talking about his uh, climb to the top, where he started, how he got to where he got, it's very interesting, you can read it, and also he says in the end, welcome the new me. Is that a promise? Is he gonna look better this year than he ever looked? I don't know, but he has his freak factor back for sure. Now lately he has been posting a lot of new updates and I could say that he looked like his old self because previously he looked like somebody who basically retired or just went off. He was back to what he was before but in this video, particularly this one right here, he looks freaky. He got the freak factor back. He was called the pit bull by Louis Marco until they were in, in good terms, until William Monac wanted to fight him in that, pod, in that uh, expo over there in Kuwait I believe. But before that, uh, Louis Marco used to call him the pit bull because he was so packed, you know, he was short and dangerous and so, so big and full for his frame. He was just uh, a freak of nature and right now it seems like he got the freak in his back. He's gonna do the Arnold Classic, he's most likely gonna win it. How well will he do the, the Mr. Olympia? You guys tell me, based on this, what do you think? Alright, I saved the good stuff for the end of this video because Rolly Winkler or his trainer Ahmed Asker, not Ahmad Ashkanani, as I said in my previous video by mistake, that's another 212 bodybuilder. No, we're talking about Rolly's coach, who just posted new update of Rolly Winkler, saying that this photo was taken today, and also he's asking us how many weeks out is Rolly right now. So we know it's not days, so that probably means he's not gonna be doing Puerto Rico Pro. Probably. Maybe he intentionally wrote weeks, plural. So we can actually think it's gonna be a couple of weeks until his show, I don't know, but does he look impressive right now? Yes, he absolutely does. A long time ago, Rolly was known for having a, one of the biggest bubble guts on, on the bodybuilding stage, as far as the top pro bodybuilders. He fixed that, and ever since, he was really good with controlling the midsection, he's known for that. That's not something you see very often, bodybuilding re bodybuilders reversing the bubble gut, and making, he, making their stomachs look flat again. It, it's, it's really not something you see very often. So Rolly did that. He did it so well that when you look at his physique, you stare directly at his abs. When he's doing abs and thighs, that's what you're looking at, because his abs are very prominent and very symmetrical, and the stomach now looks pretty flat. For a big guy like that, it looks really freaking good. And also you can see the vascularity through the lats, through the chest, through the arms, you know, triceps, biceps, forearms. You can see that he is in a good shape. You can see that his skin looks thin. I'm not sure which show is gonna be that he does, but whichever it is, he is winning it. Unless he messes it up in the final week, something that he did 2019 Mr. Olympia, two weeks out, he looks something like this, probably more conditioned than this, and then he messed it up and he took fifth. Now we have Ian Valier doing Tampa, and Rolly might do Tampa, so if it happens to be Rolly versus Ian, I said this before, if Ian brings good level of conditioning, like he usually does, and Rolly comes in off, and Ian made significant improvements in the off season, then yeah, I can see Ian beating Rolly. How crazy does it sound? It does sound pretty crazy, but Ian took 7th, guys, Rolly was 5th, so that's 2 places only, come on! Give Ian a break, I mean, he's a good bodybuilder. Yeah, he has some weaknesses, but who doesn't? Rolly, sure, if he gets peeled, he's beating Ian, yeah, yeah. He can win the Mr. Olympia, even. But if he messes it up, if he brings bad conditioning, if he gets watery in the last minute, then, you know, yeah, I can see Ian beating him, yeah. What do you guys think? Should I make a video about it, comparing them, and see what they can do against each other? 
maybe I should do that. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. It's gonna affect my video if I make it in the future. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.